Hello people of YouTube, it's John again, and I have another product spotlight for you today. A couple months ago I was contacted by my friend James who said, hey I got a really cool model that you need to do a spotlight on. And so I was curious, and we had to wait for a while because of our pandemic, but we finally got together fairly recently, and I got the model from him, and we're going to take a look at it today. So let's go over to the workbench and take a look. All right, so here's what we're looking at today. This is an HO scale PS Trinity Backpacker Well Car Set decorated for trailer train from scaletrains.com. This comes in their rivet counter line and therefore has a lot of great detail on it, which we'll look at, and sells on their website for $139.99. Something interesting you might want to know is that well cars that are articulated like this are actually counted as a single car. So even though there are five wells in this well car, it has one road number. So that's a cool little tidbit about articulated cars like this. These cars started appearing around the late 1980s, and sometimes you can still see them nowadays on the rails. These cars will carry either one 40-foot container or two 20-foot containers on the bottom, and then you can put the longer containers up on top, which is how we usually see them out on the rails. The model is packed with an owner's manual and not one, but two extra parts bags. And inside the owner's manual, we have an exploded view drawing. And then on the back, you have all the parts and part numbers for the model. So when you put all five of these well cars, or I guess pieces of this well car, together it's about you know five feet long and I don't have enough length on my desk to show that so I just put three of them together here and this is how we'll look at it just know that the other two cars or pieces of the car are sitting safely in the box below um, something else I do want to mention as I took these out of the, the container or the box they're heavy these are made out of metal so they're gonna have some weight to them. So if you wanna run a bear table train, they should track pretty well. I scrutinized the paint and markings on this car and found it to be very good. The only lettering or markings that I wasn't able to make out on this car was in the tiniest of the tiniest stencils. And you know, it might just be because I can't magnify it enough with the visor that I have. I mean, this visor does pretty good magnification, but even as magnified as it was, it still looked like if I were to magnify it more, I would have been able to read it. All right, we'll take a look at the brake end here. You can see it has a separately applied brake stand, brake wheel, all these grabs and all this stuff in here is all separately applied. The reservoir, the brake lines, it looks excellent. And also notice the etched metal walkways. That also looks excellent. And while we're at it, we can take a look at the brake hose and the knuckle coupler. There's an uncoupling lever on the end here. And all these little separately applied grabs are wire grabs. Uh, the stirrup and the grabs on the ends, looking really good. Look at this brake chain detail that's inset into the side there. That's pretty cool, and it's separately applied. From this low angle, you can see the separately applied wire grabs. The stirrup is also metal. And then the uh, here's the cut lever, that's a plastic cut lever but this is really nice detail on the end. You can also tell that the brake stand and brake wheel are separately applied parts as well as the grabs. So this is one of the articulated cars that I didn't put together with the rest of the car. And I just wanted to show you, this floor is actually a plastic piece and the rest of the car body is die cast metal. And these articulated parts also have the photo etched walkways and brake detail on them. The way these articulated cars work is they have a pin on one end and then they have a hole on the other end and the hole just fits over the pin and then they share a truck and there's something pretty cool about these trucks that I want to mention. This is one of the end trucks. Okay, this is the end unit that goes at the far end of the car and you'll notice that on there it has 33 inch wheels and these are Barber S2 roller bearing 70 ton trucks right down in here. At the articulation points, 
It has Barber S2 100 ton trucks with 36 inch wheels. So they've done something that's pretty cool here by including prototypically accurate wheel sizes. And that's something that I've seen out on the main lines on real trains. But when the trains are going by, you look at it and go, hey, wait a minute, was it? And then you forget about it because you're, you know, in awe of the train as a whole. But I think that's a really cool touch that they've done here. If you look inside the well, you can see that it has little holes here. Okay. And there, you know, there's two here because in case you want to put a 20 foot container, the containers have little pins that fit into these holes. They call that an IBC system or interbox connector system. And it's done so that the loads don't shift. All right. And I thought we'd look at the other end. And you can see the same detail photo etched walkways exposed brake detail that's separately applied. Also from this angle you can see the cut lever and the separately applied stuff down in here. Something else really cool is that they gave the wheels rotating bearing caps. I think the stencil on the truck is also a great touch. I think this is a great model. Scale Trains did a fabulous job including all the details that somebody would want in a well car like this. I think it's really cool to be able to have a five unit car like this. One of the biggest challenges in doing the spotlight was that I wanted to place the whole thing on the workbench, you know, put it all together and show you the whole thing. And what I would have done had I been able to do that is I would have just rolled each unit through and showed you all the different stuff on them. I did the best that I could with what space I have. But to make up for that shortcoming, we're actually going to go down to Silicon Valley Lines and we're going to run this model in a train set for you. So let's go do that now and I'll see you next time.